Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. Still not getting us what we want, um, which is more robo, uh, more robot frames, the flying robot frames. I've got to manually carry that over. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take all of those. So I got 500 of these, which I'm going to bring over this way. And I'm going to drop them into the chest over here. So as soon as the copper starts coming back up through, we've got everything that we could possibly want. Let's go in and... No, not that chest. It's this chest that I need it here. So I go control and drop that in. I've got 132 of those left. And we've got a little bit of steel. I'm going to put in another steel right there like that. Uh, but I am going to need to go and get some more engine units in a minute. How are the trees doing? They're done. <laughs> They're done. We've actually we, we've cleared them all completely. Twenty. I got sixteen trees in there. Four thousand. Four thousand eight hundred. Two hundred and fifty. Right. This this is just nuts. I got twenty eight thousand pieces of timber on the system now. So we'll let that use up a little bit because we don't really have enough room to do a, another major push through. And uh, now I'm just going to wait for those flying robot frames. Those are probably going to be one of the biggest bottlenecks now for a little while on on the old yellow circuits. Not that I'm too concerned about that. Right, if I bring you over here and I stand right next to that one, they will very quickly dump those in. There is very, very little copper going up this side. All right, we've got a little bit. I find it quite hypnotic, really, just watching everything move around the factory and fill up. And yeah, I know at the moment we've got a hideous mess of spaghetti going everywhere. We don't, re we don't have a tidy factory at all. It is just one huge, great big mess of spaghetti. And there's definitely room for a lot of improvement across this entire factory. And there will be improvement. I will make improvement on this. We've got 1,000. We've got, still got a full chest on there. That's fine. Um, I will work hard on making some improvements to this factory at some point. I'm not going to do it at the moment because I don't need to at the moment. Um, but as soon as we've gotten... Oh, that's empty. Right. As soon as we have done this bit of research... Our next stage, that's where the, the big stuff starts to happen. That's, that's where it really starts to change around. And it will... That, the face of this factory starts to change quite drastically. So have a look in here. I've already got 600 electronic circuits in here. I'm actually going to do that again. And I'm going to go... That will leave us... That will give us 1,000 electronic circuits spare in there. Right, that's all. If I just have a thousand electronic circuits in there, I think that'll be enough. And then the rest of it, it will then, it'll immediately start to back up. It'll back up down the line, which means the copper will back up. Everything will back up. So I'm just going to wait for that magical moment to happen because it's going to look very cool the way it's going to back all the way down through and then get everything else moving. That's kind of the, the awesome bit about it is the way that everything else will then start shunting along and moving as it goes through. Of course, we do still have a slight bottleneck with the robot frames over here, but I'm not too concerned about that. Right, those, they're not, they aren't coming through particularly fast, but again, I don't think it's like a, a major, major issue. I'm actually going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat. I'm going to drop those in there. Yes, the robots are going to come over and they're going to empty them out straight away. They're just going to put them straight back into me like this. It's just, you know, you, you can play with the robots a little bit like that. And but it does fill it up, right? See, we're filling it up. Who's going to fill it up the first? Who's, who's... They're, they're going to run out of battery in a minute. There, see, they've, they've all run out of battery now. And, oh, I've got my 200. And he's got 50 to go. There we go. 1,000 green circuits in there. So those are our reserve. We'll be using those for sending over to make the flying robot frames and other things like that. Uh, we'll also be using them ourselves for making a load of things. 
Uh, so next up, this one will just back up the line all the way along here. It will back all the way down here, which means that these little factories down here, they're going to back up as well. And they're not going to be taking all of the copper anymore, which means that the copper will very quickly back up on the line there. And everything will fill up. And it's this bit that I find... Uh, there's something rather satisfying about just watching everything back up and fill up. Backing up quite nicely. It will sort of split this quite divisively here. You'll have everything used up on one side. And there won't be anything being used on the other side. So when we come down here, the cop... Actually, it's going to be that side. The copper on that side. See, it's already starting to filter all the way up through to the top. That one won't actually get used because it's not being used on that side. Until the near side, the closest side to these line of factories over here is used it won't actually um make anything from there so all of that side is going to fill all the way up while this side keeps on manufacturing but what will eventually happen is that, that is going to fill all the way up to the top this will back up right the way down to there and then it will spread over to this side and everything will be going through on there and you can see it's already filled just about back down to the very bottom on here Right, it has now filled right back down to the very bottom on here. And if we go into our map, you can then look on here. And you can see it's now a solid line all the way up to there. And it's already backing up on that bit. And it will. It will back up on this side. And that's where it's going to back up first. And it will do that all the way over to here. And then it will start sending it north. Right. And it will come up to there. It's, it's not quite... Well, it's, it's just where these bits are coming in. That's, that's the bit that's going to be slowing it down. But we're already filled up there. Already filled all the way up. And this is slowly starting to fill up as well. But even this bit, this is now filling up. We're, we're not using the copper anywhere near as fast as we're pushing it out anymore. Okay, so we've you know, got a nice line full of green circuits all the way up there. Copper is instantly backed up and it backs up very fast. As soon as it gets to that saturation point, it's backed up really quick all the way through here. Which means that now the bulk of the copper is going to start going up the other way. But what we've also got is this side here is filling up. And if that fills up, that's going to back up there to these furnaces, which is going to stop those being used. Which means that we're going to get more copper ore coming through further along over here. Which means that these furnaces here that haven't been used for a little bit, they will start producing more copper, which will go over this way. And it will in turn send more copper up this way, up to here, which will have all of these being used. Does any of that make any sense? If it does, could you explain it to me? Because I'm not sure I really understood all of it. Um... See, right in there, that's already being backed up. But this in here, all that's going to do is it's just going to back up into those furnaces before the copper ore starts spreading along. But it will do. It will do. It will do. Right. I don't need to worry about any of that anymore. I've now got all of that. And we're nearly two-thirds of the way through with the logistic system research. I still want this to go faster. It's not really going to go any faster now. So now that I've got that backed up and that's, that's sort of filled up over there... I'm going to bring this down here. I know that it's already filled up and having it prioritized in that... Actually, you know what? I think it would be better to keep it prioritized on the left over here. If it stays prioritized going that way, I think that would actually be a beneficial thing because that's going to keep our factory supplied with green circuits for now. And then up this way, it's starting to bring all the rest of it out. And it is going to start using the rest and it. Everything else will back up as well, right? Everything will back up and it will fill up. So all I want to do now, really, is I've got these... Excuse me. Excuse me, indeed. Um, these over this side, what do we like with steel? Steel is good at the moment. These over here, these are the ones that are going to slow everything down, really. Right, we're looking at these. Uh, we need... 20 copper and... Th I thought it was 30 copper. It's 20 copper and 30 plastic. In order to make each of these. And they all seem to be running. It's the copper that we haven't got enough of. Right? We still haven't got enough copper. But it doesn't really matter that we're not quite running all of these at the moment. Because, right, we've got a little bit of a backlog on there. But we're waiting on the flying robot frames. And I cannot make those flying robot frames go any faster. Actually, wait. There might be a way. Can I do this? Uh, efficiency module... 
Speed module two, right there. What do you take? Uh, that takes four. I remember now. Four speed modules, five processing units. Speed plus thirty percent. It's quite a considerably bit faster. It would just be easier if I just made another factory down over here. That would be by far the simplest way. Is if I make another factory down here doing exactly the same that I'm doing right there. And all I gotta do is I just manually feed in a few of the units. So if I do... Hmm. Okay, I'll drop one there. Like that. And... Instead of having that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move those. And then I'm gonna put... I'll remove that one. And that one. And I'll put that one there. And then I will put that one there, like that. And then I'll take you. And I'll put you into there. And I'll put that one into there. And I'll put that one into there. So I've got just a little bit of belt there. That will just drop it on. And then it will go into that one. Okay, so then you. And I'll put you into there. And I want to take those two. And I'll drop those in there like that. And then I want to take a chest. I'll drop that chest down there. And go like that. Put that one in. And then I'm going to come over to this side. Right. I've got a mountain of batteries down here. So I'm going to steal a whole load of those like that. And I'm going to drop every single one of those in. I'm going to drop in 300 steel into there for a minute. And I've got in here 400. I'm going to take half a stack of those. I'm going to drop them in there. And I'm going to put a stack of 200 of them in there as well. So that I've got all those... And in here, I've got 90... Well, I'm going to start by putting some electric engine units in there. And then I'm going to accept that I need to go and get some more. So, oh, wait a minute. That's a passive provider. I don't want that to be a passive provider. You idiot, Frith. You absolute moron. I made a mistake there. I made a big boo-boo. I want some steel. Right, let me go in here and take a little bit of the steel like that. I'll just take half a stack and I'll make a couple of those chests right there because I don't want the robots taking stuff out of this chest. Right, I've deliberately left that one. I don't want that as a passive provider. That's the wrong sort of chest to put there. That was my boo-boo. So I'll put that in there. Now they're going to go off over to the other circuits over this way and that's where they're going to get my electronic circuits from so i'm going to run over there with them and i'm also going to help myself to a i'm going to take a stack like that i'm actually going to take two stacks of them so they're going to start taking a load of them like that the robots they came up and they had a look and then they decided that i didn't need any um so we've got a little bit there that's working, and it's just like the copper is going to go over that way, and it's going to prioritize just filling that back up again, and then it's not going to worry about it for a minute. So I'm going to come down over here, and I've got this bit. Oh, I haven't made any of these for quite a while. And the reason I didn't make any of these is because I've got a belt here. And I did put some of these in here. So I'm going to drop 200 of them into there. And I'm going to allow them to come down through. And if I have a look in here, I need two. So that will make 100 electric engine units. We need to do better than that. What I actually want to do is I want an entire line. But that's too far to carry them. I think that is too far to go for an entire line. So if I look in here... I've already filled those up. I'm going to take 600 of those. Which means that we're going to slow things down again. But I need I need to be able to make more of these engine units. I have no choice in this matter. I've got to be able to make some more of these. So we'll put 400 of them in there. That's a load of engine units are now going to be made from that little system there. And I can run over this way. All the way back up there. And I can head over to here, and I can put in a few more of these. Right, so I'll put 100 in there, like that, and I'll go to there, and I'll put another 100 into there, like that. Right, that should keep those going. We're just waiting on some electric engine units, and those are being made down the bottom. Uh, it shouldn't take too long for a load of them to be made, I'm hoping. I did have those set right, I think. 
We'll have a look. We'll just go down here and double check. Yes. It does make them. It brings them over in here. And this one takes... It's on 0.75. I could put some speed modules in here. Let's just speed that up a little bit like that. Uh, 10 seconds for an electric engine unit. Yeah, 10 seconds for electric engine unit. And this is 1.05. So it's a fraction under 10 seconds for each unit. That's pretty good going, I'd say. That is pretty good going. And we are two-thirds of the way through our logistics system up there. So it's engine units. We're waiting on those engine units and the flying robot frames. The rest of it is just sort of ticking along through the entire factory. Everything is working. Everything is coming along nicely. It's just uh, we've got a couple of bottlenecks on the whole system now. These bottlenecks that we've got, we have a copper bottleneck because we don't quite have enough area for putting down some mining stuff. I could actually start shifting that lot so we can get a little bit more copper being mined off of there. That might be our next step. But I've got all of these furnaces here. I need to be able to use these furnaces. I need to be able to utilize these a bit more. I need like a double line of this coming through. The amount of copper that we're using now is utterly obscene. It really is. Although I've now filled that back up to 1,000. That's, a, that's actually a really good start. Having that filled back up to 1,000 is something that I'm quite pleased about. Um, which means that this is that's going to back up and then the copper will back up. Which means it will start coming back over this side. Um, so it's flying robot frames that we're waiting on. And in comes a flying robot frame. So what exactly are you waiting on? Uh, you're waiting on this down here, which we don't have the copper coming through for. So I've got the flying robot frames. Look, see, I've got flying robot frames coming through the entire system, apart from that bit up there, which is that's got the the units. Yeah. Right, well, it's it's a slow process. We know that. Right, we know it's going to take rather a long time before we have anything done on here. We've got 300 spare blue in here, but we don't have any more than 300. So what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm actually going to just put out the limitation on there so that we don't have any more than just those. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that because that's going to backfire and it's going to do that. It won't even allow them to go through. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to remove that one. And I'm going to remove that one. And I'll put that one there like that. And I'll put you on there like that. And yeah, I know that's gone to a red. That doesn't really matter. And then I will move back up this way and just go into here. And drop in a hundred packs on there and most of the rest on there. So now I've got all of the packs on to the line over there. And the final thing that I will do is I will join that into there. So I've now got all of these science packs on here. And what I'm going to do is I know that I don't have a chest on here anymore. I'm going to... See, there is, there is a way that I can do this. I can have a chest so that I do create a buffer zone. And all I need to do in order for this chest thing to work is I put the buffer zone here instead. So I remove you and I put the chest there like that. And then we put the chest there and we put the chest there. And then I go back into here. And again, I will limit that to 400 packs at the moment because I don't want to have too many packs coming onto the line. Right, I do that, and actually, that's going to be the wrong side, so I need to do that. And I need those to come over onto the other side. So, in order to do that, I go here, like that, and I bring it round like that. So, it will go onto the correct side of the track, and we will put... We'll end up with 400 spare in here, just in that bit right there. We'll have 400 spare in there, and I've got these busy humping these out as quickly as they can. So I'm going to have a little bit of a reserve of blue science packs. They're going to come all the way round there on the line as well, and then 
um, we're going to have the yellow science packs slowly working their way through the system. It's going to take a little while for them to work their way through the system, but they will get there eventually. So the only other thing that we're waiting on at the moment is some more of the electric engine units, and we don't have very many of those. So I just want to run down and gather up what electric units that we, the engine units that we've got for a second and take those up through, um, which is only 41, right? We, we really don't have very many of these and I don't have any way of creating them any faster at the moment. So I'll take those and we'll run up to the top actually, because there's one other thing I'd like to do. We've got a bit of steel that's being made over here. And I think we've we've got enough steel being made, so I don't need to worry about steel for a minute. But there is one thing that I would like to make, because there's another thing that I want to start doing. We're going to make some electric um, mining drills right there. Uh, I'll make a... yeah, we'll, we'll make a couple stacks. So we'll let those start making a minute while we go racing up through here. And up to there. I've got robots on their way to give me some other little bits and pieces. So right in here I got 18 and in here I got 10. So if I drop those in there, not that it's going to make a huge amount of difference at the moment, and we'll drop those in there. There's a few robot frames going in and we'll just have to wait now for a little bit for the rest of those. Um, while we're waiting, oh, I got a spare mining drill right there, and I got a spare mining drill right there, and I got a spare mining drill there, and there, and over there. While I'm looking at this, let me have a look around. So that's all copper up there. 2,900, right. Here is iron. Right there. I got no iron over this side. I've got no spare. I've got all the iron that I need to come out of here. And if I just put this mining drill over all of this lot here, I'm not finding any patches of iron. There's, there is a little bit of iron right there. I've got 110 iron available here somewhere. Uh, if I move it up to there... Right, it's not anywhere there, and it's not anywhere there. So it, it's covered by that mining drill there, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, the only iron that we're going to be left with in this little patch is a little bit of a strip right here in the middle where all this coal is. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to concern myself about that. I'm going to leave that. I can remove, actually, I don't want to remove any of this yet. With the, that little bit of spaghetti will all be removed later on. We're not going to worry about it just now. Um, I do, unfortunately, have... Robots busy emptying out that box right there, and I don't want them to do that. So I will just run up this way so that they don't do that. And I will grab a couple stacks from there so that they don't continually keep emptying out that chest down there. I don't want them emptying out that chest. I'll let them just come and put some stuff onto me. Right, and then we'll come over here, and we'll go back, and I'll put another 200 of them in there. Okay, perfect. Right. Next up, I want to go over here. Now, I've got these bricks being made at the moment, and I've nearly made another full chest of bricks that will be able to get our construction robots to come out and plonk them down. Not that I'm really going to be using those very much, so I'm, I'm going to kind of forget about that for the most part. There's another thing that I want to start doing. I'm going to get rid of that over there and go to there like that. So I'll just move that one over a little bit. And I will also bring that one up that way so that I can get rid of that. And some of these as well. Right, we'll remove the light from there. I'll also remove that bit. And I'll join that back over that side. Take you out. See, you, you do end up with a lot more of these than you actually need. You always do. So you, you can go through every now and then. You can, like, filter a load of them out. Uh, no, what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of work up here. So I've got 11,000 stone there available. I go there like that. And then I turn that one round. 
I'll remove both of those because I want to get all of the stone all the way up to here. Actually, I've got a bit of stone there that... If I go there, look, there's 266 pieces of stone that I'm going to miss. Actually, no, I, I, I don't need to. I don't want to bring it down there. I want to go there. That's perfect. Okay, spot on. Spot on perfect. There's no stone there. There is a bit of stone down that side, but I don't need to worry about that. I just want to do a run down through there like that. Except that I don't want to do that because that's now in the wrong place. Which is a bit inconvenient, so I will do that, that, and that there. Then I will run down here and I will do that. I won't bother connecting that up. Right. That bit is in the right place now. So then I can bring a line of these down through to here like this. We'll go on a little bit further like that. And then we will stop. And I will get some of these. One there. One over there. And... One there like that. I'll do the same down this side. Which will go like that. One there and one up there. Right, so we've now got a whole load of stone coming out off of there. I've got some assembling machines already. And these I'm going to put in a line over here. Just like that. So I've got five assembling machines. Bring you over to there. And then if you look in here, we go to the first one. We've got landfill. It takes 20 pieces of stone to make one piece of landfill. And I will shift click and I will copy those and I'll put those in. Now, why am I making landfill? Because if you remember our grid over here. Like, let me show you the grid a second. We don't have every part of our island covered with a logistic network. So what I want to do is I want to start expanding out with a little bit of landfill in some of these places so that I can put robo ports out onto corners and square this off so that we've got a, a more square design. But what also we'll be able to do is we'll be able to put a little bit of landfill up around here and we can extract this little tiny copper patch that we've got up here. It's something that I would really like to be able to do quite important to me that I'm able to get every single bit of resource that we've got available. We've also got coal over here and we've got oil down there that we will eventually want to be able to get to. Now over this way, that's a biter encampment over there and that is bigger than what it was to start with. So we've definitely got biters on this map and they will become a problem as we start to expand more and more. And the pollute, you can see the pollution at the moment, right? It's the trees absorb pollution, and it really slows down the pollution. But you can see the pollution spreading over the water where there are no trees. It's quite cool the way that it does that. I actually really like that. That's, that's a very, very cool thing. Uh, we've got some more oil down here. We've got two lots of two separate patches of crude oil down here. Um, and then we've got stone and ore, but we, we're going to ignore those. So before we can actually venture right onto the mainland over here, we're going to have to be very, very careful. And we're going to have to make sure that we have defenses in place, guns, things like that. That's all stuff that we're going to research. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Right now, I want to start just putting in little bits of landfill here and there on some of these patches so that we can expand out a little bit further. So for now... We will concentrate on this. Now, I've only got three stack inserters at the moment. I could do some more of them. So, I will we'll just run uh, one stack inserter on each of these, I think, for now. Uh, so, let's swap that one over like that. And put those in. And then we will take a belt like that over to there. And I will put a chest up there like that. I will put a... Fast inserter there. I'm going to need to make some more fast inserters. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. There's several fast inserters. I've got a few blue science packs. Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day. And a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.